All right, Shalom Amakim. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all praises, honor, and the glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Wa Harakar Kudash, and of course, as always, double honors to our apostles and our elders that rule well at Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sincere Akim, preaching this word in all truth and sincerity. This is Proverbs 11 and 20. They that are of a forward heart are an ab are abomination to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And a forward heart, all right, is somebody who's proud. Okay, somebody whose mind is given to uh, pride. Okay, is given to, you know, um, an unequal balance when it comes to the way you know, things are to be done in the way you're supposed to conduct yourself. Okay? It says, but such as are upright in their way are his delight. Alright? And that's the elect. Okay, the elect are upright in their way. And our way is, you know, keeping these laws, touch commandments to the best of our ability. Okay? Maintaining our integrity when it comes to serving the Lord because you know only the elect are, are going to be upright in their way when it comes to the Lord you know two thirds of our people even though you know the scriptures the law such commandments were for them okay they don't want to partake in you know, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, worshiping and, you know, coming to serve the Lord, all right? And he says in verse 21, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, you know, which the chief of the wicked, all right, are you Edomites, you so-called white people, but then two-thirds of our people are also wicked. So if they form an alliance, they come to an agreement with one another. Okay. They want to defend and protect one another. Be in allegiance and alliance with one another. Hey, they're still going to get judged. All right. There's nothing Jake, two-thirds of Jake, can do to save Esau. And Esau, damn sure, don't want to save you Jakes, man. Okay, he might lie to you, might have you join his ranks within his military, give you a high status. Shoot, he might, he might have you, uh, you know, be a, a, a captain within his military and give you charge over a great force with uh, great weaponry. To fight against the Lord, which is going to happen, okay? But still, all right, the Lord going to crush you, all right? You're not going to go unpunished. You're going to receive judgment from the Lord. You're going to receive your punishment for being wicked, okay? It says, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Now the righteous, okay, is the elect, okay, and it says the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So you and your whole house, you, your children, all right, your immediate family, you know, your wife, she could be saved through you, you know, which a lot of brothers' wives are going to be saved, all right. It says, as a jewel of gold in a swine's snout, so is a fair woman which is without discretion. Yeah, you might have the prized pig, <laughs> Wilbur, you know. You might want, uh, you know, to keep it, save it, but it's still a fucking pig, all right? It's still an unclean animal. It says, and so is a fair woman without discretion. The word fair, 
Okay, it means like beautiful. Okay, fine. As we like to call them in today's terms. A fine woman without discretion is like a pig. It might it might be Miss Piggy. You know, got makeup on it. You know, the owner decked it out. Put some uh, gold jewelry on it. You know, but hey, it's still a fucking pig. It's still an unclean animal. Okay, it's still an abomination. So a lot of you women, even though you look good, okay, those of you without discretion, all right, you have no fucking morals, no discernment, no respect for, for the man that's uh, above you, or supposedly above you, okay, you're an, abom you're an abominable creature, okay, you're not going to be saved, all right, now here's the point. The desire of the righteous is only good. That's what we desire, man. All right, is the goodness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, to be delivered by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, receive the promises. Okay, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's what we want. We want to see our people ruling. We want a glorious kingdom. We're tired of catching hell. Okay. We're tired of having to go to work and pay taxes to this fucking devil. Okay. We earn wages as, it, as though we put them in a bag with holes before we cash, cash our checks. You got money being taken from our checks. Living paycheck to paycheck. That's fucking hell. Okay, when we're the righteous, we're, we were set up to be a nation of kings and priests. This world was created for the Israelites so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But in this present world, this present lifetime, we, we have no, we have no, uh, we have no, uh, what, what, what do you call it? Um, we have no, um, you know, no certain dwelling. Okay, we have no, uh, man, there's that word. Um, we, we don't have a possession in this world, man. Okay? Even though this is our world, you know, we don't own a damn thing here. We're not sovereign, okay? But our desire is to receive the goodness of the Lord, to receive the kingdom, okay? To see these devils go down, all right? Because it's hell here. And if you think thinking otherwise, you know, you can't see it, you're a bug out. And you deserve death. Okay? This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5. And I believe I'm going to start at 15. Let me see. Yeah, 15. But the, but the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the care of them is with the Most High. Okay? The righteous shall live forevermore. Hey, there's some standing here. Some men of the elect that are not going to taste of death. Okay? Some members of the elect are going to receive spiritual power on this side and not die. Okay? And our reward, Lord willing, we're part of that number, is with the Lord. Okay? The Lord is coming back to judge the world. Now, the elect of one third, the reward of theirs is going to be mercy and salvation. Okay, their judgment is going to be mercy and salvation. But two-thirds in these other nations, starting with Esau, their judgment is worms. Their judgment is nuclear fire and death. Okay, their judgment is getting torn apart by wild beasts, by eating their children, starving to death, having to drink blood to quench their thirst. Okay, bugging out. All right, getting mashed out by... by by troops, soldiers, being drafted in World War III, dying of plagues and famine, okay? That's what you have to look forward to, all you wicked, all right? It says, and the care of them is with the Most High. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai cares for the elect. He hears our cries, cries, our prayers. 
He knows we're catching hell. The Lord knows what we have need before we even pray for it. Okay? You praying for it, the Lord already knows. Sometimes you 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 go to pray for something and immediately that prayer is answered. Man, sometimes before you even you even uh, uh, ask for something, before you even pray for something, sometimes it's just there. It's just manifested. Because Yahweh Bashim Shai loves and cares for the elect. Okay? It says, therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom. We're going to receive a glorious kingdom. A perpet perpetual rulership under Yahweh Shai. Okay, the Lord said he's going to glorify the place of his feet. It's not like, you know, them rats in Israel. They got to import trees every year. Because the, the land is cursed. Okay, devils are rolling in that land. You know, the earth is the earth strength. The earth strength is 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 bitten because these devils, because wickedness is flourishing in the world. Okay, under Esau, the so-called white man, the devil. It says, "In a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand." Now, I, I I've been meditating, and I have been meditating on the crowns and scepters that the Lord is going to place on the members of the elect. And I honestly believe that every member of the elect, okay, although we desire the same things, there's things that we like individually, or things that we like more individually. You know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. You know, we don't like the same kind of women, okay? Some brothers like different metals and different stones. So those beautiful crowns and those scepters that we're going to receive of the Lord, I believe we're all going to receive uh, uh, different styles of crowns, different scepters according to our likeness. All right? It says from the Lord's hand. You can read about that in, uh, I believe it's 2nd Ezra chapter... I want to say, uh, I want to say it's either 13 or 14, where it goes that where it goes into where the Lord is going to put crowns on our heads. He's going to make us rulers with Him. Okay. It says, "For with His right hand shall He cover them, and with His arm shall He protect them," which is dealing with the angels, the celestial powers on the right hand, the righteous angels, the holy angels, because you know what, there's also evil angels, all right, wicked angels, okay, that the Lord utilizes to deceive, put demons on, other, uh, on others, and judge, okay, but the elect are going to receive none of that, all right, the, the elect are going to receive help of the Lord, he's going to cover them. Okay, your sins, your iniquities shall be covered. Okay? That the angels are going to cover you. Alright? When you read Daniel chapter 12, it talks about Michael standing up to deliver, you know, our people. Alright? One third of the elect. Okay? So I'm going to get this in Hebrews and I'm going to close the Hebrews chapter 4. All right, chapter four, and I'm gonna start at, uh, let's see what 10 says. Oh, I'm gonna start at uh, nine. There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of Yahweh. Okay, the people of Yahweh by Shimei Shai are the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You had uh, the president or the, 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 the leader of Syria, I forget his name, you know, but he spoke out how those people in our in our land are imposters, that they're not the real Israelites. Okay, so the whole world is actually declaring, starting to declare that those people in Israel 
are imposters. All right? Those are not the true people of the Lord. And therefore, a rest, there remaineth therefore a rest for us. Okay, this is not our rest. This place can be destroyed by nuclear fire. That's why you gotta take your mind off of what's been taught to you in this place. Okay, the philosophies of this world, the wickedness that's been pushed on you by this world, by the rulers of the darkness of this world. Okay, you gotta you gotta wake up out of sleep. Okay, you chasing that American dream? You asleep? Okay, because there is no fucking American dream. All right, excuse my French. You know, this place was set up to be a prison unto us, a, a chastisement, a punishment unto us, nothing more. Okay. But there remain at the rest. When this place is destroyed and Yahweh Shai returns, he is going to give us rest from our labors. Verse 10, for he that has entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works as the power did from his. You see, we're not, we haven't entered into our rest yet. This is not our kingdom. All right. This world was made for our sakes. Okay. But we're going to receive that, 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 uh, air, you know, that rulership, the authority when Yahweh Shai returns. Okay. And we're going to be resting. Okay. Then it's going to be the time to celebrate, be in mirth. Okay. To be in comfort, to be in your securities. We're going to be secure in the kingdom. Okay. It says none shall make us afraid. We're not gonna. We're not gonna be. We're not gonna get sick anymore. Okay. We're not gonna cry anymore. Be sad. It's gonna be a party. You know, a party, 24/7. Okay. Cause you know what? We're gonna have, uh, uh, you know, um, banquets and feasts prepared before the Sabbath comes in. So when the Sabbath comes in, we'll already have a feast prepared, okay? We're going to be at total rest. And this is the point in verse 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. We have to labor. We must do the work. We must believe and have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And faith is what's required, okay? To exhort you to continue and to work. Having faith, it, it uh, sparks you to do works. Okay? It says, let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Now, when you fall into the example of the example of unbelief. Okay, your example are all these guys that are bugging out, wigging out, guys that got put to death, guys that are gonna get put to death, guys that ain't right. Those are your examples of unbelief that you should not fall after. Okay, because, bro, dudes is bugging. Okay, dudes are not are not truly brothers, man. Okay. Dudes are really fucking selfish out here, man. Only give a fuck about themselves, man. You know? That's not the way you ought to be. Okay, the Lord didn't say, I'm going to save one man. He said, I'm going to save, you know, brethren. 144,000, one third. All right? But yeah, don't fall after the example of unbelief. Because all that's going to do is lead to you being condemned and destroyed. Let us labor so we can enter into the rest and receive that glorious kingdom from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because what comes with that kingdom is, is your, your heart's desire. Okay? One third of our people are going to receive the kingdom. Women, children are going to receive the kingdom. Okay? It's just an Israelite man's lot 
within rulership, his entitlement is above a woman's. All right? You know, what does a man desire? A man desires a woman that is going to love and appreciate him and serve him. A man desires to have his own business, his own money, his own home, his own stuff. Okay? And you're going to receive that by having faith and works in your by Shimei Shai. So continue on in faith. Continue on in love. All right? Yahweh by Shimei Shai, Yahweh Shai said, and you shall know who my, who my prophets are by the love they have for one another. So with that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shimei Shai, Wa Harakat Kudash, and of course, as always, double honors to our apostles and our elders that rule well at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect.